to a story you saw first on Good Morning Northwest today. Most kids worried about their cell phones and gadgets, not about maybe helping a vulnerable part of their community, except for a local middle schooler whose turn is concerned about dental hygiene into a device that could make it easier for thousands of people living with arthritis brush their teeth. And a KXY4 exclusive, Caroline Flynn met with a young inventor to see his latest creation. We all heard it growing up. Or at least I did. Brush your teeth or they're going to fall out. When seventh grader Jake Gendro got braces last year, he heard that warning and took it seriously. And I didn't know what would happen if I didn't brush, and so I went home and researched it. And I actually found that not brushing can lead to bad looking teeth, bad breath, bleeding or swollen gums. Those were just the obvious problems. Then Jake learned not brushing could lead to death, and the wheels started turning. Literally. My invention is called the Get a Grip, and it is a home dental care system for people who suffer from poor grip strength, poor grip geometry, and or lack of fine motor skills. It works with the simple push of a button, dispensing toothpaste in a matter of seconds. See, Jake is a problem solver and an already accomplished inventor. And finding a problem, thinking up an idea to solve that problem and how I can make it work, overcoming all the issues I run into, I just find that really fun. Last month, get a grip one at Advent Washington. In May, he'll bring it to a national competition in Michigan where companies will be on hand, ready to buy ideas. Jake thinks he has a shot. Through his research, he learned more people will develop arthritis as the population increases. This is adaptable, so regardless of what your hand shape is like, you can still hold it and very easily brush your teeth. Whether he wins or not, though, it won't get him down. The title isn't what inspires him. It's a pretty serious issue, and I want to make it easier for them to live alone. Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.